do diet pills and fat burners work? First of all, before I start the video, I just want to say that this is the first of a new series of videos uh, called How to Lose a Lot of Weight. Because I've gotten questions and I've gotten a couple of um, online clients who are very obese. I mean, we're talking like 100, 150, 200 pounds plus that they have to lose. And the laws of physiology and the way your body reacts to exercise and nutrition don't change because you have more or less weight to lose. There's still the same principles, but the actual practical application is a little bit different, okay? And especially the mindset is, uh, is a lot different for somebody who has a lot of weight to lose as opposed to somebody who has to lose, you know, a few pounds, as opposed to somebody who has to lose the last couple pounds to get really ripped. So if you fall into this category, if you've got these questions, please send me, um, either do a comment on one of my videos on YouTube, which I will probably see, or send me an email, bob at anaerobics.com, and I will almost certainly do a video answering all of your questions, assuming I haven't answered it already. Great, now let's get on to the video. Okay, diet pills and fat burners, do they work? Yes, they do, but probably not for 99% of the people watching this video, okay? Let me explain. Diet pills started out, I mean, I was a kid in like the 80s, okay, watching on TV and there would be like some, you know, middle-aged housewife talking about a diet pill and how much weight she lost, okay? Diet pill, okay? You're on a diet and the pill helps you diet. The pill doesn't make you skinny. The diet makes you skinny. The pill helps you diet. The pill does not help you lose weight, okay? Now, I know some people might think that's just semantics, okay, that's just a play on words, but it really is very important because let's talk about the next generation of diet pills that came out in uh, the 90s, okay, which were called fat burners. Now all of a sudden, semantics comes into play and it makes you basically think that you take this pill, sit on your ass with a bucket of you know, chicken wings or a bucket of ice cream, and you lose weight because this pill burns the fat, which it doesn't do, okay? So that's why I'm telling you that like 99% plus of the people who are watching this video are not going to get any results by uh, taking a fat burner, okay? So who is a diet pill? Who is a fat burner going to work for, okay? It's somebody who realizes, like I said, that these pills help you diet, and that a diet <clears throat> will allow you to lose weight. Not the people who are thinking that they don't have to change anything, they take a couple pills and that will burn fat, okay? For instance, the diet pills back in the day used to be caffeine. A woman is on a diet, she's eating less food, she's gonna get hungry. If she gets hungry, she's gonna get cravings for really bad food. If she eats really bad food, that's worse than eating the normal food she was eating, okay? So she's actually gonna get fatter by not eating or by eating less and then binging on crap food than if she had eaten the way she normally eats. So she takes one of these pills, which has a lot of caffeine. Caffeine is like speed, basically, okay? And if you haven't noticed, people who are crackheads, people who are on amphetamines, people who are on cocaine, okay? People who are on, uh, you know, things that speed you up tend to just not be hungry. They tend to sometimes be disgusted by food. They just don't eat. And because of that, they go ahead and they lose weight, okay? So basically what I'm saying is in the 80s, these women would take these caffeine pills while they're on a diet and they wouldn't feel hungry because they wouldn't feel hungry, they'd be able to stay on their diet because they're able to stay on their diet they would be able to lose weight. But it's not the pills, it's the diet. The pills just helped them stay on the diet. And it's the same thing uh, with the other effects of um, caffeine, that you get some energy, okay? And the idea with the energy was basically like, okay, you eat less, you're feeling kind of tired, you're feeling kind of tired, you may be feeling kind of bored, so you eat more, okay? It's hard to stay on the diet. But by taking these caffeine pills, it would allow these housewives 
to stay on their diet and still have a decent amount of energy. Okay, so that's why diet pills, okay, worked. But then, like I said, we came into the 90s and uh, was it ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, ECA stacks, okay, were the new big things that were being used to help you lose weight, okay? And it is true, they were more effective than just caffeine alone, okay? And they did have actual effect on your body metabolizing fat, okay? But still, they weren't these magical pills that you take and boom, automatically, without putting down the ho-hos, without getting off your ass and jogging, you automatically just lost all kinds of weight. They did not do that, okay? So, when somebody just takes those pills and thinks you know that they're going to make a huge difference, they're not. I used um, what were they called? Burn 60s. Okay, I used Burn 60s. It was a diet pill or a fat burner uh, made by GNC. And the way it basically happened was, um, I was doing. I think it was. I don't know if it was one of my first versions. Was it the steak and eggs diet? No, it was one of the first versions of my pure protein diet when I first started experimenting with that. Okay, what I did was my girlfriend just happened to have these you know pills laying around in like the vitamin cabinet. I'm like, what are these? She's like, they're fat burners. Did they work? No. And I kind of looked at them, and it was like cinnamon and caffeine were basically like the things in them. And you're only supposed to take them once a day, two tablets once a day. So what I would do is I'd wake up in the morning at like 4:30, 4:45. Okay, you know, splash some water on my face, uh, you know, brush my teeth, and then I'd wake up my girlfriend, and then we'd do a workout at home in the apartment before she went to work. Well, I realized if I took these fat burners in the morning, that if I took the two of them, went ahead and you know, and got you know, got ready, brushed my teeth, and whatever. By the time it was like a half hour later and we were ready to work out, even though it was five o'clock in the morning, I was pretty awake and I was able to get a good workout and I was able to concentrate, my mood was better than if I was tired without drinking coffee or anything. So they worked for me. Now they did not make me magically lose weight. It was basically a pre-workout, like a zero calorie pre-workout that didn't screw with my insulin levels. So that's a way that they will work, okay? Another way is, um, if you are getting really lean, like you're approaching 10% body fat and trying to get that little nudge to get under 10% to be really lean. If you're at 10% and you want to get extremely lean, okay, like considerably under 10% body fat to get extremely lean for whatever kind of event or a photo shoot, yes, okay, fat burners may actually help you lose more fat. But we're talking about people who have perfect diets, perfect workouts, they drink a lot of water, they recover properly from their workouts. We're not talking about somebody sitting on the sofa with his ho-hos and his chicken and his, uh, you know, and his fast food and his soda and his beer, watching TV and taking a pill and thinking he's gonna get ripped. So, like I said, uh, you know, if everything else is right, diet and exercise and lifestyle, yes, fat burners or diet pills may help you, okay, continue working out and stay on your diet and still have enough energy and, and enough, uh, you know, a good enough mood to go through your daily life. But like I said, you know, for anybody who's looking at them as an excuse, like, can I be less strict with my diet? Can I be less uh, strict with my workout regime and still get results by taking these pills? No. Okay. The only reason that you're having these pills is to make you strict err with your diet to make you strict err with your workout routine okay and uh like i said as long as you realize that they're diet pills not fat burners you may actually get some pretty decent results by using them